Hello, thank you all so much for clicking on my video and welcome to my channel, Lovely Moments Creating. If this is your first time here, consider joining the family by clicking that subscribe button and remembering the notification bell. That way you'll be reminded when I upload a video. My name is Jenny and on this channel I create budget friendly home decor that is easy to do. So if you want to see some of my creations, keep Thank you all again so much for tuning in and watching today's video. I'm going to jump into the first DIY. I'm going to be using these round wood signs from the Dollar Tree that has this jute hanger. Now these signs are always in the Dollar Tree and you just have to pick out the good ones to make sure you get the ones that are not warped because they are kind of thin. I will be removing the jute hanger so that I can paint these signs but I will be adding the jute hanger back and I will show you that. So for my first two door hangers or signs I am going to be painting two of these using my French linen chalk paint and I'm just going to be painting two because my first two signs will be this color. Now I'm going to give it one and a half coat letting it dry in between each coat. Now since they are unfinished you don't have to paint both sides or you can use some craft paper if you don't like the unfinished look but I usually paint the front and the back of my signs and um, that's just my preference but you don't have to do that. So for my first one I did um, paint the front and the back and I probably would do that to all of my signs and so I went to my Cricut Joy and cut out the phrase bloom where you are planted and what I'm going to do is just use my Cricut tool and transfer this over to my sign. In today's video I am going to be making 10 door hangers so I have 10 different ideas that you can use if you don't want to use a Cricut or if you do not have a Cricut or if you want to use some Dollar Tree poster letters or other items from the Dollar Tree. I have 10 different ideas so I'm sure there's something from every, for everyone. So I'm just going to place my um, text right in the center of my side and transfer that over. Now the Dollar Tree put out some really cute little felt flowers this year and I've used them in previous DIYs and I have two packs here but I'm going to be using three. I have my other one right here. I'm just going to open these up. They come with the little um, leaves that you can attach to the buds. And so I'm just going to get these all open. And then I'm just going to play around with the placement. But what I'm going to do first is just add my jute hanger back. And as you can see, I'm just stringing it through the front of my sign. I don't know why I can't talk today. Through the front of my sign. And then in the back, I'm just going to tie those two ends together and tie a double knot and then I'm going to cut off the excess and that's how I will be adding the hanger back to all of my signs in today's video. And so now I'm going to start just adding the flowers around the sign and just playing around with the placement until I decide how I want to attach them and I will be attaching them using my hot glue. All of these signs are really simple. It's just some quick, easy ways to create some door hangers for your home. I like to hang door hangers on the doors in my home. The kids' doors, my door, the garage door, the front door. So, and I do like to switch out different door hangers. So that's why I made 10. And I actually made a couple of, couple of oh my God, I can't talk today. A couple of them for my sister and one for my friend today so um, I'm sure there's going to be something for everyone in today's video so after I get all of these attached that's going to be pretty much it I'm not going to add anything else to, to this sign and I think it came out really cute Now for my next sign, I'm going to be using the other one I painted the same color and I already added my jute hanger. And for this sign, I am going to be using these two wood signs. Now I did pick these up from Walmart. I have the word hello 
and the word family and these were like a dollar and i believe 40 cent but the dollar tree do sell some wood word signs as well so i'm just going to place these where i will like them and then i'm going to take my hot glue to attach them so i'm going to also embellish this sign and i do have some eucalyptic picks i did find some picks in the target dollar spot for a dollar and i think they were really cute so i am going to be using two of those to embellish this sign and i am going to be adding a bow so i'm going to take my two picks and i did get these for a dollar at the target dollar spot and i just use my wire cutters to cut them down and i'm just going to add them um, with the stems facing each other right below the family word and i'm going to be using some hot glue to attach them and then i am going to create a really simple bow to add with these eucalyptic picks now i do have some ribbon here and i got this burlap ribbon here from the dollar tree and i'm just going to cut a few strips i am making a really simple basic bow if you know how to make a bow <laughs> um, i'm sure you know how to make one better than i do i'm not the best bow maker never have been been trying for years but i do make it work and as you can see i'm just layering a few pieces of those ribbon together and just um, cinching the center and wrapping some jute cord around to secure the center and then i'm just going to cut off the excess and then i'm just going to place this bow right in the center of my greenery and i'm just going to kind of tilt it a little bit to the side just play around with it a little bit and that is going to be it for this sign really simple but it has a nice high-end look to it and i absolutely love how it turned out now for my next two door hangers I'm going to be using some black chalk paint so I will be painting my next two signs with this color giving it um, one coat I'm just going to use one coat of the black because it gave me the amount of coverage that I needed and so I will be doing two of these that way because my next two signs will be black so after I get Get it painted and it dries i am going to start embellishing it now this first one i really love it was really simple from the dollar tree i found this really cute sign and as you can see i already added my jute hanger and so i'm going to take my sign and it says welcome it has this black and white bowl on there and it has the jute um, hanger but i am going to pull this bowl off now when i pulled it off I did raise the paper up that's on the front of this sign a little bit but that's okay because I'm going to add some embellishment over that. I'm just going to tuck that little jewel hanger in the back. I'm going to add some hot glue and I'm going to attach this right in the center. Once I get that complete I'm going to take some of that um, decorative rope that the Dollar Tree sells and I am going to trim around this white welcome sign that I placed on top and I'm just going to tack down the rope and then I'm just going to add some hot glue and wrap it all the way around until it meets on the other side I really like how this sign turned out it is just so cute it was so simple I was so glad to find this cute little welcome sign at the Dollar Tree I always look for pieces like this because I like layering pieces it just give it more of a high-end look so once I clip off the excess rope I'm going to take some more of that burlap ribbon from the Dollar Tree and then I have this buffalo check ribbon I got this on clearance I believe at Michael's for like a dollar because it was for the Christmas season and they had like 90% off I'm just clipping the tails and then I made this a little smaller because I'm going to add this in the center of a um, larger um, a piece of that burlap ribbon and then I'm just going to cinch the center um, like I did in the first bowl 
I made in the previous DIY and then just take some jute cord to wrap it around the center. <laughs> like I said, I make the simplest bows. Sometimes I could get a little technical and <laughs> create something a little more fancier, but it just uh, take time because bows is just not my not my thing. Um, I love them, just not that good at them. So as you can see, I'm taking some lamb's ears, and I believe I picked these up from Walmart, and I'm just hot gluing two pieces um, right at the top, but kind of to the side a little bit, and then I'm going to attach this bow, and that will be it for this sign. It is really simple, but I really do love how this one turned out as well. Now for this next sign, it's already painted, and I added the jute hanger. Now I'm just taking that buffalo check ribbon from the previous um, DIYs, and I'm just cutting a piece that I'm going to add right down the center, right across the center of um, the sign. I'm just adding hot glue on each end so that I can tuck it in the back and tack everything down. Once again, I found the cutest sign at the Dollar Tree. Absolutely love it. Picked up a few of these. I love this one. It's a farm, sweet farm, and it has the pig on the front. And I'm just going to add some hot glue to the back of this and place it right in the center. It fit perfect. It looked per perfect. And I think this will be great to style in my kitchen. I absolutely love this one. Moving along to my next two signs, I will be using my white chalk paint and I will be painting it two of these signs and I will be giving it one coat. I kind of still wanted to see some of that natural wood. That's why I went with one coat and I didn't want to have such a, a white look. I wanted to have more of a worn look. So I thought if I just give it one coat, um, that will give me the look that I was going for. Now after I finish getting it painted and add my jute hanger back, I'm just going to take this little um, sanding um, tool that I have here. I did pick this up from Walmart. Um, this is actually one of my little favorite um, recent buys. It was like $8.88 and it's very soft and it's easy on my hands. And I'm just going over that white, just distressing it some and, and giving it a worn look and I would do this to um, the other white sign that I'm going to create behind this one and so I use my Cricut Joy and I cut out the word simply blessed and as you can see I'm just adding it kind of sideways down on the bottom of this now at Hobby Lobby I found these burlap um, hearts cut out hearts and I got this pack of 12 it might have been more than 12 for like 10 cent because it was like the 90% off from Valentine's. And so I had to pick up these and I'm just going to take a few of them and attach some hot glue to the back of them. Not much because I didn't want it to seep through. And then I'm just going to place it right on the sign. I wanted to keep this really simple. Also from Hobby Lobby, I was so excited to find these little bouquets. Um, this one is 99 cent and this one is a little bigger. It was a dollar and 49 cent and I got these out of the wedding section. I thought these was really cute. So I'm just going to take it and add some hot glue and attach it right in the center of those two hearts. Keeping this really simple and pretty and once I attach it, that will be it for this sign and I absolutely love this one as well. Now for my next white sign, I did add the hanger back to this sign. And uh, what I'm going to be doing is embellishing this sign using a transfer sticker that I found at the Dollar Tree that say, 
be a little while I absolutely love the cute little good turn on that so I'm just gonna open up the sticker and then I'm gonna place it like close to the bottom of this sign and then to transfer this over all you have to do is get some little tool I'm gonna use this little tool that I pick up from um, Cricut supplies and I it's like a little spatula and I'm just gonna rub over the sticker really good making sure that I get all of the colors and the letters transferred over and I'm just gonna pull it up really slow just to make sure that everything's transferred over and then I'm going to be embellishing it this using some really pretty florals that I picked up from the Dollar Tree I thought the colors will look great with the theme what I'm doing first is to protect that sticker is just going over this sign using some Mod Podge so I'm just going to give it one coat and that will do the job and then I'm going to start embellishing it I have um, two stems of florals here and what I'm going to do is just start pulling the uh, pieces off the stem so that I can hot glue them down to the sign separate so once I get them all pulled off I'm just going to arrange them on the sign and then I'm going to tack everything down using some hot glue this sign is really simple but I think it's really cute I love the colors for the spring I'm just kind of adding them um, to give a wow little look because I'm going to layer the other florals on top just trying to go with the whole thing be, be a little wow so once I get all of these tacked down I'm going to take those other florals and I'm going to pull those buds off the stem and then I'm just going to hot glue those right on top layering those flowers I'm definitely going to give this um, door hanger to my niece and that is it and I, I love this I love the colors I think it came out so cute now moving along to my next two door hangers I'm going to be using this desert tan color um, chalk paint and I will be giving it one coat this is almost the color of the unfinished look but I love this settled look so I'm just going to give it one coat once it dries I am going to add the jute hanger back and then for this first sign I definitely wanted to keep this really simple so what I'm going to be using is um, these words I went to my Cricut Joy and cut out grow in grace and I'm just going to get those transferred over um, I love this color I think it's um, pretty bright but it's also a neutral color and so I wanted to make sure that you could read the words on here really clear so that's why I went with grow in grace and then for grace the font is different and I'm just going to tilt that a little bit sideways and then I'm going to take two of those um, little bouquet picks that I got from Hobby Lobby to embellish these along with a bow and I'm going to be using that same ribbon that burlap ribbon from the Dollar Tree I'm just cutting three strips of that ribbon and then I'm going to cinch the center and I'm going to use the jute hanger um, to create the bow by just wrapping it around the center and then tacking it down with some hot glue. So what I'm going to do is just tack the bow right at the top. I actually like that the ends kind of curled under. And then I'm going to take um, two of those little bouquets. I'm going to add one in the center of the bow and then I'm going to place the other one right to the side and that is going to be it for this simple sign I love the phrase I love the color I love grow in grace I absolutely love this one for my next sign using that same color 
um, and I already added my jute hanger I'm going to be using these poster letters from the Dollar Tree and I'm just pulling off the letters that I'm going to be using this one is actually a fun sign and I'm going to use this to um, add as a door hanger on my son door and I pulled out the letters to spell out be happy and so I don't want the letters to be straight I'm kind of just putting them um, in little different positions um, to go with the whole theme of be happy <laughs> and then uh, from the Dollar Tree I has this I have a pack of these cute little wood bunnies with the cotton tail and I'm just gonna place these um, bunnies all around um, no special form just having them all in different positions and I'm just gonna use my hot glue to attach them around I'm not going to add any other embellishments to this sign except these cute little bunnies um, and I think it is so cute and I am going to add this door hanger um, to my son's door I just I just thought this would be really cute um, for the season that's coming up and I absolutely love it it's adorable Now for these next two signs, I'm going to be using this antique wax color and I'm going to go in with a nice amount, even though I'm going to wipe off some of it, I'm using some paper towel. I wanted to make sure that it's, it's dark and it won't be too light. And so I'm just going to cover um, just with this one coat and then take some paper towel and wipe off the excess. I just wanted it to dry just a little bit. And then I'm just going to wipe off all of the excess paint. And then once I get that complete, I did add the um, jute hanger back. And then I have these um, greenery picks from the Dollar Tree. And so I'm just going to pull all of these pieces off the stems because I kind of want to just create a bushy layer of these right on top of the side. Just giving like a a bush look so I'm just going to start just placing them on the sign layering them on top of each other and just using some hot glue to attach it this sign is going to be for my sister um, after I get all of these greeneries just tacked down trying to give it like a bush look I am going to use my Cricut Joy to print a saying to add right under the greenery. So once I had everything tacked down, I did cut out the phrase, Holy Spirit Activate. <laughs> I had to cut that out for my sister because she <laughs> always says that. So I used some white vinyl and I just added it right under the greenery and I'm just gonna transfer that over. And then I do want to add a bow to this sign as well. So once I get that transferred over, I'm just going to, I created a little simple bow. And then I'm just going to tack that down right above the seam using some hot glue. And that's going to be it for this sign. This is definitely my sister always talking about Holy Spirit <laughs> Activate when she starts her day. Um, I think it is so cute and I hope she loved this. And for my next sign, I did paint that um, using antique wax as well. But before it completely dries, I'm going to take some white chalk paint and I'm going to add it to this sign. I'm trying to achieve the color of this welcome wood sign that I'm going to add to this one. And so what I'm going to continue doing is just brushing in this white paint until it blends in and dries. And then I'm going to add my jute hanger back. Now what I did was I'm going to take one piece of those burlap banners that the Dollar Tree have this shape looks like a house to me so what I'm going to do is just going to cut one of these off the jute cord that has them attached 
and I'm going to hot glue this right to the center of the sign. I wanted to give this sign a really rustic farmhouse look. So once I add that in the center, I am going to take one of those burlap heart cutouts that I had out of that pack from Hobby Lobby. And I'm going to add that right in the center of my little um, burlap house. And then I'm going to take the wood welcome sign. And I did get this from the Dollar Tree. I thought the colors just blended really good together. And I'm just going to cut off that jute hanger. And I'm going to take some hot glue and I'm going to attach it. I'm going to slant it so that it can be over the house some. I'm just finding my placement to make sure it fits. And then I'm going to take some hot glue to attach it. And I am going to embellish this um, sign using some florals and a bow. And I love these farmhouse picks that the Dollar Tree put out. They are just so pretty and they have like three different colors. So this off-white color, I'm just clipping off a few stems. And then I'm just going to arrange them down at the bottom using some hot glue to attach them. And then... Once I get them down, I did create a really basic, simple bow <laughs> once again. And then I'm just going to add that bow right in the center of those florals. And that's going to be it for this sign. I absolutely love this. I think it came out so pretty. Thank you all so much for tuning in and watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed this video just as much as I did. If so, please remember to give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already done so, subscribe to my channel because I would love to have you here. As always, in the comment section below, let me know which one of these DIYs were your favorite. And until next time, my sweet friends, stay safe so that I can see you in the next video.